we already coded the entry signals for our expert advisor. So right now, our expert advisor will enter a long trade when the price closes above the moving average and will enter short trades when the price closes below the moving average. What we are going to do now is to code the exit signals. So our trades will exit when the exit pattern happens in the market. So let's have a look at this trade here. Here we entered a long trade and this captured a quite long trend and here the trade was exit. Why? Well, it was exit because the price closed below the moving average. And when that happens, we have two different signals. The first signal is to exit any long position that we have currently opened. And the second signal is to open a short position. And that is what we are going to look at at this lesson. We are going to code the exit signals. Well, actually, let me rectify. You are going to code the exit signals. So let's go here to the expert advisor. Here we have the function that we created for the entry signal. Now, what I want you to do is to create the function for the exit signal. So it would, will be very similar to this one, but it will return either exit long, exit short, or no exit. Now, where should that function be called? Well, we will call that function here in this comment section here. Here we will have all exit signals and close trades execution. Here, similar to the entry signal, we will declare a new variable named exit signal, which will store the string of exit long or exit short or no exit. And here is where we have to call the exit signal function. Now, if the exit signal equals exit long, so this value should be returned from the function, or the exit signal equals exit short, then we will proceed to close the positions. And for that, we will call here a function, but for now, let's just do nothing. Now, there is one additional thing that we need to do, and it is called here the sleep function. And just put the expert advisor to sleep for 1000 milliseconds, so one second. The reason why we use the sleep function is because when we send an order to the trade server, there is some delay in the execution of that order of some milliseconds. So we want to give the expert advisor some room for the orders to execute before the expert advisor continues reading the code. Now, what would happen if we did not include this sleep function here? Well, our trading system only wants to have one position open at any given time. So when it detects, for instance, a long pattern, it will open a long trade. And when it detects a short pattern, it will close the current position and open a short trade. And we will make sure that that is the behavior of our expert advisor uh, later on when we restrict the ability of our expert advisor to only open new trades when there is no current position opened. Now, what would happen if, for instance, we have a long position currently opened in the market and a short pattern is detected by the expert advisor? Well, if we do not include the sleep function, this function here, this block here, will try to close the long position and then it will go immediately to check whether or not there is a long or short pattern. Now, this block here, the trade exit block, will say, okay, we have a short pattern, so we send the exit order, the close order to the market. But since this has some delay, this will not execute in time. And the next code of block here that checks whether or not we have an open position will say, yes, we have an open position. 
so we do not look to open a new trade and this is very bad because here this will exit our position but it will do after this code block here was executed so in the end we will close our position but we will not enter in a new one so that's why we have the sleep function there now going back to today's lesson what we want to do today is just to code the exit signal function so go ahead in the global scope and create a function like this one like this one for that we have for the entry signal but for an exit signal and this function should return exit long exit short or no exit and that's it now as usual i will let the video run for five seconds so now please go ahead pause the video do the exercise and play back when you are finished okay so we are back let's go and correct this exercise so let's go here we are now in the main tree signal let's copy this let's paste it here and we will call this ma exit signal we will have the same parameters we don't need to change this we can also have these printing messages here and here is the only change that we actually need to do so when we spot a long pattern we do not only want to enter a long position but also to exit any short position and the same is true for the others so when we detect a short pattern we want to exit any long position and then open a short rate and that's it wasn't that easy now let's compile and let's call this function so we call the function here so this is ma exit signal and here we pass the prices let's just copy these ones and now we have already coded the exit signals for our expert advisor